Hey everyone! I have fantastic news. There is an immensely popular, critically acclaimed TV show where the main character is in a loving, open marriage. House of Cards is a political drama about Frank Underwood and his wife Claire basically taking over the world together. The love and connection between these two after over 25 years of a marriage is obvious and apparent. A little. What's it been? 15 hours? Oh. Not even long enough to notice you're gone. They work together like a perfectly synced team. I know what I have to do. Good. We'll have a lot of nights like this. Making plans. Very little sleep. I expected that. They figured out that they wanted the same things in life early on. What Francis said to me when he proposed. I remember his exact words. He said, Claire, if all you want is happiness, say no. I'm not going to give you a couple of kids and count the days until retirement. I promise you freedom from that. I promise you'll never be bored. And they also happen to have each other's permission to bone other people. What's more is their extramarital relationships span a wide array of possible arrangements. First up, there is Claire's passionate affair with Adam Galloway, a high-end photographer. We aren't told the origin of their romance, but it's clear that it goes back pretty far beyond the beginning of the series. Claire and Adam are clearly familiar with each other, and the attraction between them is very apparently more than just physical. Claire seems perfectly content to let the relationship be whatever it will be, but Adam does appear to want Claire to leave Frank to be monogamous with him. I can't be just a pit stop, Claire, or some sort oh, of come escape, on, more than or that. a top-up on whatever Francis oh, can't provide. Oh, fuck off! He's my husband, Adam! At some point, Claire and Frank have a fight, and Claire runs away to spend a week or so with Adam. But after she and Frank have spent some time apart, they go right back to each other. Claire and Adam do end up falling apart, but not because of the fact that Claire is already married to someone else. They were able to overlook that for a time, but when their own personalities stopped fitting together so well, they ended. We have never spent more than 48 hours together. Maybe there's a reason for that. I want to make this clear. Their relationships start, middle, and end were all primarily about the interactions that they had with each other, and would likely have gone very similarly if Francis was not in the picture at all. It was not the polyamory that caused their end, it was themselves. By season two, Claire and Frank are surrounded by Secret Service all the time, and kind of struggling from the pressure of not having any personal time for extramarital affairs. They talk very candidly about this with each other. Do you miss being with Adam? Where did that come from? Miss it? No. Well, you must. Sometimes. He meant a lot to me for a while. But that's done now. What about you? What about me? Are you unsatisfied? There's just too much at stake now. No one we can trust. Long story short, since they couldn't get away from their Secret Service, they ended up inviting one of their Secret Service agents into bed with them. There may not have been any deep romantic connection with Meacham, but it was a chance to break free from the pressure of being monitored so often, and all three parties left the encounter quite pleased with themselves. I slept like a baby. Good. You needed that. Most of all, though, is Frank's relationship with Zoe Barnes, a reporter that he starts working with to shape public opinion, and in some cases, actual policy. I am not going to call this ro relationship romantic. Affection never entered the picture. The two are certainly intellectually attracted to each other, though, and they both seem really glad to be able to speak with someone on the same level as them. So which Zoe Barnes am I to trust? The one who wrote about the fireman that married the meter maid? 
although one who authored a very fine article on a new jogging path in Rock Creek Park. Don't be flattered, I read everything. I'm better than what they have me doing. You know what that feels like. Do I? You'd have made a great Secretary of State. Their relationship turns physical, at first completely consensually, but it does become less consensual as time goes on. Frank's ultimate goal is to attain power, and when he can no longer control Zoe, things go poorly. This brings me to my main point today. We're murderers, Francis. Our mainstream, clinically acclaimed, polyamorous couple is evil as fuck. Yes, apparently according to Hollywood, in order to be the type of person that's capable of non-monogamy, you have to be capable of murdering your secondary partners. Or, if murder is too much of a hassle, at least ruining their lives. I'm sorry, I haven't met you. All you've ever done is cause me pain. Now you're fucking with my life and the life of the woman that I love more than I ever loved you. And of course, there is no reason for the evil to end at your romantic partners. I'm willing to let your child wither and die inside you if that's what's required. Okay. This doesn't seem good. As exciting as it is to see polyamory depicted on screen, it's really not so great being told that polyamory is something only evil people do. Hey guys, great news! There's now poly representation in the media. We finally can relate to characters who also happen to be murderers and rapists. Yet, I do think House of Cards still does some good for raising awareness of polyamory and even acceptance. Yes, the show is primarily about the awful things Frank and Claire do in their rise to power. Yes, they do awful things to their partners, and yes, they do awful things to each other. However, the open relationship is never the source of the problems with each other. They are exceptional role models at open communication about their extramarital affairs. <laughs> you could have just stepped on it. I have asked the super to get an exterminator in here, and he won't do it. So anytime I see a cockroach or a spider or whatever, I try and trap it, and then I leave it by his door. Is there a spider I can trap? And... Despite the fact that they're not monogamous, there is absolutely no evidence that it weakens their bond in any way. Do not mistake any history you have shared for the slightest understanding of what our marriage is, or how insignificant you are in comparison. The only real trouble that arises is from society's response that when they get wind of it. You should come out to my dacha and salt you sometime. We'll serve together. The water is cold as hell, but the women are very warm. Oh, I'm not sure what Claire would think about that. Well, bring her along. It's crawling with artists out there. She might find something she likes. Now, if you have seen the show, you are probably thinking to yourself, but wait, what about the end of season three? I'm leaving you. First of all, I don't believe that this is going to last past Season 4, Episode 1. I just can't see that happening. Second of all, Claire's reasons for wanting to leave Francis have absolutely nothing to do with the fact that their marriage is open. It has to do with the fact that she feels that the marriage is not fostering her ambitions to the degree that she had hoped. Personally, I think she's going to realize that leaving Francis is going to do nothing to foster her own ambitions and realize it's a terrible idea anyways. Still, even if I'm wrong and they do stay separated, this bombshell does not reflect at all on their polyamorous practices, and that is a really good sign. Usually, if polyamory is depicted at all, it's depicted as something that will cause too much strife in a primary couple, and I am really grateful that this show did not imply that. Even though this show is about evil people doing evil things, I do think it's a good way to sneak the idea of open marriages into the public consciousness. Frank and Claire's bond is undeniable, and it is impossible to imagine 
a more perfect spouse for either of them. Yet, they both wander outside the marriage, and this does not compromise the strength of their marriage. Sure, they kill people. And sure, their marriage isn't really in a good place as of season 3. But the idea of portraying a polyamorous couple, showing the strength of their bond, and showing that it's not perfect, but without blaming polyamory for the imperfections, can you think of any other piece of media that validates open marriages so well? If so, please let me know, because I would love to see it. If a marriage like Frank and Claire's was depicted in a show about moral, upstanding citizens, there would be too much backlash. How dare this show promote the destruction of marriage? As it is, if anything, people will point out how evil the murdering is. No one thinks to criticize the moral character based on their non-monogamy, because there's too much else to criticize about their moral character. And the world accidentally finds themselves exposed to an example of a loving, communicative, consensual polyamorous relationship. So here we have it. Our first step towards poly representation in the mainstream media. Now all I want in life is a sitcom about a polyamorous group featuring wacky scheduling hijinks as everyone tries to make time for everyone else. Tell me you wouldn't watch the shit out of that.